This is the last time. I wield my sword under this flag. Whoa, Gus, whoa, 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 whoa. This is your last fight for, for the band of the house, Gus? Whoa. The decisive battle. Oh, we starting off with, with, with the action. We starting off with the smoke. Damn, them niggas laid out. Who's, I wonder, is this the blue whales? Tremendous losses. This outpost is all that remains intact, sir. This is a fine state of affairs. To think that we, the White Tiger Knights, have one of the strongest armies in all of Midland, and we've been. He said the White Tiger Knights or the White Tanker Knights. Let me let me look forward. Drop this up a little bit. To think that we, the White Tiger Knights, have one of the strongest okay. armies in all of Midland, and we've White been Tiger Knights. so easily. The castle of Doldry is simply impregnable. I have a report. What now? Sir, the enemy has deployed at least a thousand new cavalrymen. They're heading in this direction. I like his armor. I like his armor. No! They are the purple rhino knights, the strongest of Tudor's armies. Okay, so we got two different mercenary groups we ain't never seen before. The white tigers and the purple rhino. It seemed like this white tiger, their their club got laid out by the purple rhino. Oh, his armor is dope. I like it. I wish we could have seen his face though. The castle of Dordre not only belonged to our kingdom, but it served as an integral part of our defenses. Ever since their occupation, this same fort has become the staging point for nearly every attack the armies of Tudor have launched against us. However, because of unrest over Imperial succession, the Tudor Empire is on the brink of civil war. This will likely engage much of their energy, and so they will be unable to use the full force of their military army against an invasion. This is indeed a rare opportunity for us. We must not miss this chance to achieve the conquest of Doldry. Now is the time to recapture our fief. Very well. What's to be done about it? Our primary concern should be the principal garrisons stationed there, the Purple Rhino Knights. They are the strongest of all the armies of Tudor, and they are led by the undefeated General Boscon. Mm. A full-out attack may be Their general is undefeated? That is far too risky. Consider the campaign thus far. We've already lost nearly 40% of our forces. Even with every man we have left, we could not be certain of a victory at Doldry. If the war is prolonged, we would inevitably be caught between their main army and the occupation forces. We cannot afford to act rashly. If we do, we will risk the annihilation of our entire armed forces. And what is your opinion, Sir Griffith? I dare say, even your invincible band of the Hawk wouldn't be able to handle this matter, am I right? With the order, we could. Yes. I don't know. They said the, the, the general of the Purple Knight is undefeated. I don't know, Griffith. I mean, you got... Gus on your side, so that isn't you know slick an advantage because you know with Gus you always got a chance, but the guy's undefeated. It's too much even for the Hawks. <sighs> if your Majesty gives me the order. Nonsense! Do you really think you're capable of your defeating Lord them? Your knows nothing of the difficulties. It oh, appears snap. the good luck he's had in the past has swollen his head and clouded his reason. Oh, uh, they don't believe in Griffith. During the past hundred years, not even the surface of that castle's defenses has been scratched despite numerous attempts to recapture it. Knowing this, you still believe you can conquer it. My lord Griffith. They gonna let him do it. Will you? Oh, this is about to be interesting. Your majesty, the Doldry Conquest demands we deploy tremendous numbers. If we squander this opportunity, the damage could cost us the war. A large force will not be necessary. The band of the hawk alone will deal with this matter. Ooh. Don't be a fool. The occupational forces are 30,000 strong. You can't think they can be dealt with by a mere 5,000 men. Wait, the purple, the purple knight? Bro, they got 30,000 men? No wonder they 
Bro, no wonder the general's undefeated. You get carried away by your insolence. You can't believe your cunning little schemes will be enough to save you forever, boy. General? <sighs> it's no use raising your eyebrows. What's that? It's inevitable that sooner or later we must venture into a full-out war. It seems that we have little choice in the matter. A defeat or two does little to affect our army's morale, and we lose nothing by allowing them to attempt this maneuver. Considering the Hawks' past achievements, it's unfair to say that they stand no chance at all Facts. in dealing with this matter. Facts. You shouldn't underestimate Doldry. Others have and failed. Majesty. Griffith is, is calm, too. He don't seem nervous at all. He seems very confident. It is my command that the Hawks commit themselves to Doldry. Yeah! It's time for war, y'all! His majesty is certainly aged. Entrusting this to a boy like that, and a newcomer... Put some respect on Griffith's name, he ain't no boy. Dignity. Doldry, huh? There's no point making yourself crazy over it. Whether it's dice or war, if it's meant to be, you'll win. Cut! Here goes. No! Oh, oh, shit! Oh, damn it. Yes! The commander won everything again! <laughs> you have the devil's own luck, boss. That's it? I'm not quitting until I get my money back, damn it! I'm What's him. wrong? <laughs> you look like there's something that's still bothering you, is there? No, not really. Hey, don't worry. It's not as though we haven't been through the same thing a thousand times before. If a self-preserving man like him offered to do this, the odds must be in his favor. I just hope that Griffith keeps his head. Huh? Keeps his head. Do you remember what I told you a little while ago? When the Hawks got involved in that territorial dispute in that region, Griffith and the... That nobleman that you mentioned. That nobleman was promoted to governor in a certain empire. His bribe money spoke the loudest when they awarded the position. Wait, you mean... The governor of the Empire of Tudor's Northlands, Governor Gennon. That's the title that he currently holds. <laughs> Sir Adon, heavens be praised, we were all so worried about you. Aye, Lord Adon, known far and wide as a resourceful and... In this fucking bum right here. Vulnerable general could never die so easily. Anyway, that boy. If we meet on the battlefield again, I definitely won't let him get away so easily. For shame, Adon! Uh? Uh, your grace... I... Wait, is that that general dude? Of the Purple Knight? Oh, that's how he looks. Okay. In order to settle a personal grudge, you deployed all those mercenaries. And all you return with is the shame of utter dissemination. And worse still, your brother Samson's life was lost. You have nerve. Returning after such disgrace. The truth is, I've... Bro, bro, is... hey look, he only got the left side of his teeth. The right side of his teeth, that shit gone, bro. Outrageous! This man is a clown, bro. This guy is a clown. From here on, I thoroughly divest you of your right to command in this war. You should be thankful that I'm not throwing you into the dungeon to rot. This guy is serious. Rumor has spread that you were defeated by a single warrior. That cannot be allowed. It's true, bro. He was. It would seem that according to my spies, the second wave for the conquest of Doldry has been chosen. Their name is familiar to you by now. Banner Banner the, Hawk. the Hawk. Yep. Banner hmm. the Hawks. You seem amused. It's not that, I assure you. I believe they will be more of a challenge to defeat than wow. the others who have relied on their numbers and reputation. Wow. Mm. So he's not confident. The White Hawk, Griffith. You will keep him alive and return him to me unharmed. Whoa, but, what sir, is this guy's plan? Remember, these are your orders. Ooh. 
Wait, hold on, bro. Are those the purple's rhino men? And this is the band of the Hawks, man? I ain't gonna lie, bro. 30,000 versus 5,000, bro. I wonder what Griffith's plan is. That's all I wanna know. We're gonna need everyone in top shape for the assault on Doldry. The two tiered walls are built twice as high and twice as thick as any other castle. The far side is protected by a sheer cliff. Not to mention the purple rhinos who are stationed there. It's just like any other castle, only bigger. We do it the same way we always have. Well, I hope so. Bro, that's 30,000 men, bro. That aside, I'm surprised he burned all the boats. What on earth is the White Hawk thinking? I wonder this... if his strategy is to take a position with his back to the river. Bro, this guy right, should. Then. They can temporarily hold out by their numbers alone. We'll march our army squarely at their ranks. However, could it be that the governor has some relation to him? Well, it's a waste of time for me to worry about such absurdities. My sole duty to the end is to tear my opponents apart. <laughs> the White Hawk. I never once imagined I would see him alive again. Again? I'll definitely have him. Damn it. Look at this dust. It's everywhere. It's a part of my plan. The time has come to move. I just hope that Griffith keeps his head. It'll never happen. He's the last man to lose his calm. This is the last time I wield my sword under this flag. Whoa, Gus, whoa, 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 whoa. This is your last fight for, for the band of the house, Gus? Whoa. I know you said you was going to leave, bro, but I didn't think it was going to be this soon, bro. I will take full responsibility as the leader of the Hawks Raiders. Draw! First formation, charge! The enemy is charging! First formation contains 2,000 men directly under the control of Griffith. Ridiculous. Why divide his army into two formations when he only has 5,000 men? What could it possibly be trying to prove with such a maneuver? All right, I accept your challenge. All units, charge! Crush that first charge! formation! Charge! Charge! Let's go! Okay, Casca not with them, so I wonder if she's with the other, with the other guys, because uh um the purple rhino's man said only two thousand of uh Griffith man is the one that's charging right now, so I wonder if Casca's with the other you know thousand men, bro, that that didn't come there. There, one of the enemy's companies is breaking through our front line. They aim to get to our army's leaders by breaking through the front, so. Is that the White Hawk scheme? Ooh, Gus did some damage, but that that nigga took off took off Gus' helmet, bro. Follow the commander. Hey, Gus, we need you to put your helmet back on, bro. That shit ain't safe. Oh my God. Nothing has ever checked the purple rhinos assault before. How can we charge like this? We still risk being pushed back. General! That's him. Oh. Reportedly, he wiped out 100 mercenaries single-handedly. Oh, so he knows. Oh, it is true. White Hawk does have some capable fighters. Remain steadfast! They're just trying to break our concentration! Fall back into formation! Then counterattack! Buscon. It seems you see this battle as your opportunity to kill Griffith. Someone, attend to me! Yes, sir. Have my personal guard prepare to take the field. I wish to command directly from the ground. What? But what about defending the castle? Nonsense. With the situation as it is, there is no opportunity for the Hawks to get close to the castle walls. Don't count on it. My precious hawk is coming back to me. 
He keeps saying my precious hawk, bro. Did he have some sort of relationship with Griffith before this? Because he said he don't even want a Griffith to be killed. He just wants to bring him back towards him. And the way he's talking, bro, I don't, I don't like it, bro. I don't like it. I'm getting, I'm getting, like, weird, weird, weird feelings from this guy. That just the way he be talking, like, my knight has come back to me. Like, bro, horny ass. I will not let him be killed for anything. <laughs> Captain, now! The time is now! Now, regroup at the base camp. Retreat! Come on, man! Get moving! The enemy is retreating. Shall we pursue? Strange. Huh? They had to know the consequences of this particular strategy. Could this really have been the plot of the Invincible White Hawk? My intent is not to contradict you, but perhaps you think too highly of these men, General. Never mind that. Just give us the command to pursue them. If we let them get away, our soldiers will miss the chance to reap the spoils of war. What are you doing, Boscarn? Huh? Uh, Governor General, sir. The enemy is retreating. Will you miss seizing victory just to gape at their backs? No, sir. But we... Attention! I command all of you. Do not kill the enemy's leader, Count Griffith. He is to be captured alive. Huh? Any man who succeeds in capturing him will be promoted two ranks and be rewarded with whatever you wish. So <laughs> You should not promise such things. I cannot. But it affects military discipline. Buscon. From now on, I am taking command directly. The purple rhino knights are to pursue immediately. Oh, shit. No, he just said, look, look, look at me, look at me. I'm the captain now. It is beyond my control. All units move to pursue the enemy. I'm totally outnumbered in bringing up the rear all by myself. Even so, they're taking the bait just as Griffith predicted. Everything was executed so that it would play perfectly into your hand, as usual. Okay, so this is part of Griffith's plan. Incredible. We have arrived at a crucial moment. Our backs are to the river. There's no way to escape. Stake your lives on this fight. Our survival demands that we stake our lives on this fight. But it's 30,000 men going straight towards them, bro. How are they going to, bro? The number they're they're literally gonna get outnumbered, bro. And to survive is to be victorious. Look at Gus's face. And I can't fucking wait for episode 16, bro. The real battle's finna start, bro. But um yeah, Costco was worried that you know Griffith was gonna lose his head, but you know, so far his plan is working out as accordingly man and like i said speaking of costa i don't know where she is in this fight i thought she was going to be with the other men i was waiting by the lake but we haven't seen her yet so i, I wonder i wonder when she's going to show up in this fight it's going to be very interesting to see what part she plays in this in, you know this battle but yeah man that general something about that general that we do not know about he has some type of relationship with griffith because he does not want griffith to die he wants griffith to come back to him alive man just the way he was talking about him bro like I don't know, bro. It just is real creepy, weird vibes, bro. But Gus stated that this is his last battle under the Bandit Hawks. So after this battle is over, this can't be the final battle because there's 25 episodes. And we're only on episode 15. So we got 10 more episodes left. So after this battle is over, I wonder what's going to happen. I wonder if they're actually going to capture Griffith. Like, I don't know. A part of me thinks that they're actually going to lose this battle because they're outnumbered, bro. The Purple Rhino had 30,000 men, bro. The band of the hawk only have 5,000 men, bro. I don't care how fuck what strategy you use, bro. There's no way you're gonna defeat an army with 30,000 men. You only have 5,000 men. That just that don't that don't make sense, bro. Unless fucking Griffith, I mean not Griffith, but unless the guts take out half of them again, which I highly doubt it because the purple rhino, they ain't no joke, bro. But yeah, the general, we gotta keep our eye out on him next episode. Costco, we gotta we gotta see how she plays a part into this battle. And you know. 
does look like he's ready for war next episode. So next episode should be exciting. I hope you guys did enjoy this reaction. If you did, leave a like. And anything you guys want me to react to down below, just comment. And I got y'all. Until next reaction, I'm saying thoughts. It's the same life. I'm out, bro. I love y'all.